Okay, hello everybody, and uh, this is a webinar about the national debt in, in the United States. This is the U.S. Dot debt clock, and you can get to the same place by going to usdebtclock.org. It's a nonprofit organization that their only uh, mission in life is to inform the American people about the alarming rate of national debt going up and up and up and up. And uh, you can see the most important number is this one right here. I don't know if you can see my pointer. Right here, U.S. national debt. When you hover over things, it explains to you what they are. And so you can see everything is going up uh, in defense wars. We're spending Social Security, Medicare, income security, net interest on the debt. So it tells you everything that is going up by thousands of dollars a second. I counted this national debt right here. It's as we're watching this, fifteen trillion nine hundred and ninety-one billion three hundred and nineteen million six hundred and you can see the thousands are going up so fast. Six hundred and uh, soon to be seven hundred thousand. No wait, eight hundred thousand in dollars down here. So. I counted this. I watched this. Actually, I'm, I have to get a life because I watched this for a half an hour, believe it or not, the other day. And after a half an hour, uh, the national debt went up by about five million. That means it's t going up by ten million dollars every hour on the hour, 24 by seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year, forever. Nothing we can do to stop it. And this is a relatively normal, nominal rate, very slow rate, comparatively speaking, because interest rates, as you probably know, are almost zero as set by the Fed. So you can imagine how fast this is going to skyrocket when interest rates go back to normal. Now, folks, this is why I made this movie for you, this webinar. You see, some of you are seeing it as a webinar. Some of you are seeing it as a video. The reason I did this is it just dawned on me that this little clock right here proves to anyone with half a brain that we cannot ever get a normal economy back in the United States. And the reason is, follow my logic, this is, you can see the national debt going up, again, by $10 million every hour. It's, over, it's going to hit $16 trillion probably uh, tomorrow. And uh, the right there, if, even if it's stopped, we can never pay back $16 trillion, but it's going up at that kind of rate that makes it impossible to ever pay off. And again, the important thing to remember is it's going up that fast, even at almost 0% interest rate. So they are borrowing, they must be in government borrowing $10 million more every hour because this certainly isn't interest rates that are sending that skyrocketing so fast. Can't be, not at zero interest rate, or it's, it's up practically zero. So the problem here is that the banks are not loaning money right now because they can't make any money at zero percent interest. So they can only make a certain uh, margin above what they borrow from, which is zero. So that's why the banks aren't lending any money. So. What has to happen in a normal economy is banks have to lend money, right? That's the only way an economy will grow. Uh, businesses borrow money, they expand their businesses, they hire people, and that's a growing economy. When the banks don't lend money, the economy shrinks or stays in the doldrums, which is where it is right now. It's always going to be there because of this little problem right here that you're watching in this video, right here, national debt going up by that much, even at 0% interest. So you can imagine how bad the situation is going to get if they ever allow the banks to make money, which they have to do someday to stimulate the economy. So we're either going to have a little bit of a stimulated economy at unbelievable national debt skyrocketing, which kills the economy again because people have a total lack of confidence, and or we let interest rates stay where they are in the, in the, so that the government doesn't go bankrupt overnight. Right now they're just going bankrupt slowly. So we're in, we're in the, the, the middle of the it's proverbial hard place, you know, and a hard, uh, it's a very hard place that we're in because you, you can't, you, no matter which way you go, you have a, a terrible economy. 
And so the only answer that I can see is that at some point in time, they're going to have to declare bankruptcy, a national holiday, whatever you want to call it. And uh, then they're going to have to say, okay, everybody who's borrowed money from the United States, I mean, loaned money to the United States, you're going to have to take a huge haircut. And it's going to be, have to be something like 10%. You're going to get 10 cents on the dollar. It can't be, I, I, I can't see it at 50 cents on the dollar because even that is unsupportable. And, there, and what would happen? That would double over, you know, in a couple of years, right back to where we are. So it's got to get down to ten, you know, about 10 cents on the dollar haircut for everyone who's loaned us money, including all the foreign countries. They're not going to be too happy. They might stop buying our products if they buy them at all. Or they might stop selling us products because all they're getting back is this worthless paper. So it, we're going to have to go through this horrible, horrible uh, re, uh, re, re, reinstatement of a, of, a, of a different sort of uh, debt system. In other words, we're going to have to take a huge haircut. It, it, they won't call it bankruptcy, but that's what it's going to be. They'll call it some kind of uh, global forgiveness day or something like that, national bank holiday or um, devalue the dollar or something like that. The, the, they'll never say that the, the U.S. went bankrupt, but that's what it's going to be. And of course, our credit's going to be ruined. So, but that's a good thing. That means they won't be able to borrow for a long time. So this is why the economy cannot get any better. Now, it's really ironic that any child can see this. You can just go to this website. You can see how fast things are going. Again, going up. The debt is going up skyrocketing. Going to be over $16 trillion now uh, in just a few hours. And, uh, and, and this is a, it's growing that, ra that fast, that alarmingly fast at 0% interest rates. So they can't raise interest rates because then we would go bankrupt overnight. But if they don't raise interest rates, banks aren't going to loan money. So the economy falters either way. Either way, we're stuck in, this, in these doldrums. So th it's going to last uh, five, ten years. It could be five years. could be uh, 50 years. Who knows how long they can keep juggling the books like this and uh, keep everybody uh, sort of uh, in, in this, ma they're not happy, keep everyone in this malaise. Okay? So that's that's the problem right there. And if you go to uh, usdeadclock.org and there are other ones like it, you're going to see this, all these stats, and it's going to really shock you. Now, what can you do to uh, eliminate the problem? You, there's only one thing. You've got to become a survivor, okay? You have, to, you have to find a way to have your family survive this economic doldrums that, it, as I just proved to you, is going to be around for probably the rest of your lifetime. If not, it's going to be a, an extreme chaotic situation for five or ten years until somebody figures out a way to reboot the whole system without, uh, you know, horrible, horrible, violent, violent things. Well, my company does this for you. It protects you, makes you a survivor against any kind of situation, man-made or natural disasters. And right now, we're in the most man-made disaster we've ever had in the history of the world. There's Uncle Sam at the time this was taken, he was only 13 trillion in debt. Now it's six, closing over 16, it'll be 17 trillion right after that, and then 18 and 19, and it just keeps on going. Now, why is this man so worried? Well, it's because of what I just said. He's no fool. He has a PhD in economics. He's a smart guy. That's why they put him in charge of the Fed. But he's worried because he, deep down he knows what I just told you, but he's, of course, never going to admit it publicly. He'd he, he, he would lose all, you know, all his all credibility, all power to do anything at all to try. He's just slowing down the inevitable. He knows it. And if he, so if he told the truth, there would be no, you know, the, the emperor's clothes would be off and he wouldn't be able to do anything. So that's why he's so worried. When you see him in front of Congress, he's always sweating and uh, stammering and uh, uh, nervous as hell. His voice is cracking all the time. I mean, he's almost in tears because he knows what a horrible situation the, our economy is in. So what, what can you do, folks? You have to be prepared. There's got to be, a, at the end of this nightmare, there's going to have to be a coming food crisis also because people aren't going to take money for their food. If they own food, they're going to be in, in the cat seat. They're going to be controlling everything. So you have to get with our company because we are food, and we sell directly to you 
it, everything is shipped directly to you. And it's going to come a time, believe me, when a can of soup is going to equal, it's going to cost $100 or more. It could, be a th could go to t 1000 or 5000 or $10,000 for a can because the dollar is going to be virtually worthless. It could be 100000 or even a million dollars a can. I know that sounds crazy right now, but it has happened in history like that. And uh, looks to me, a lot of other people, that's going to happen. Something like that is going to happen here. If you don't want people coming knocking at your door when the crisis hits, asking you for food, so you have to get in our company, get prepared, store the food. We're going off a fiscal cliff. They they admit to that. Well, it's much worse than a fiscal cliff. We're going off a total cliff very soon, folks. So be watching for that. I mean, all of the indicators are there. The crime is starting to kick up. The census lawlessness is everywhere. You can't turn on the TV news when there's another mass shooting somewhere. Uh, you know, the government seems to be closed all the time. They have, they have absolutely no solutions for any of this. All they do is sit around and yell at each other on TV. They're not doing their jobs because they know it's impossible to do their jobs. So they, they, there's nothing they can do. They know, they know we're going over the cliff no matter what. So all you get is this screaming and shouting. And, and uh, you know, we might as well give the government to people like this. This guy has tinfoil hat for himself and his cat because he's, cons he's absolutely certain that, uh, that he's, he's receiving messages from outer space. That's why they put the tinfoil hat on. And uh, his cat looks like he's, he's really enjoying it, doesn't he? But uh, we might as well put people like that in charge because there's really no one with any, with any mentality better than that in government right now, neither party. So it's just a ticking time bomb. You can feel it in the air. Countries are starting to collapse one by one in Europe. It'll get here over, it'll come over the pond, of course, here someday. So what you need to do is think about the game Survivor. That's a great TV show because it teaches you how people act in a, in a survival situation. They make alliances, they, they outwit, they outplay, they outlast each other. And there's usually one person at the end who's standing there, who's won the prize because they were more clever than everyone else. Well, that's what you have a chance to do right now is become a survivor. No matter what happens, we're going to make you a survivor, you and your family, because our food is a new currency. It's going to be more valuable than you can ever know because you're going to be able to eat it and the value of it is going to skyrocket faster than gold or silver or anything else. So, and food is our greatest dependency, of course. The average family spends about $15,000 per year on food, believe it or not, both in the home and while you're traveling. You can't help it every once in a while. You have to stop and pick up a, a hamburger or a cup of coffee and a donut or something like that. And it costs 15000 or your fa the rest of your family is. So the average family, $15,000 a year. And I know that's true because I have an average family of four, and that's about what we were spending until I joined this wonderful program. Now, all my food is paid for by this, the commissions that I get from getting people into this wonderful, wonderful food business. It's, uh, for the average family, it's about 33% of their real income. 50% of the country needs help now. 40 to 6 to 50 million people are on food stamps. There's an extra 20,000 people applying for food stamps every day. 14 million kids going hungry. You know all this. This is a picture of some of our soups. We've got a, a line of soups and a line of entrees. Absolutely delicious, extremely healthy, uh, all natural. Comes from the farm where there's no GMOs, no chemicals, no pesticides, no MSG, no trans fats. In fact, it's, in fact, it's all vegetarian. No um, uh, fatty, you know, fatty tissue, no animal tissue, any animal byproducts of any kind. So it's extremely healthy, way more healthy than the average American diet. Trust me, I'm even losing weight on it. This is one of our entrees. This is the Tuscan pasta. I just had this for lunch, and it was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. This is a, um, a, a Southwest bean and uh, and rice dish that I love. This is a uh, chili dump, chili with dumplings, that that is absolutely incredible. It's all gourmet food, but it stores for 25 years, folks. That's the difference. That's why it's so unique. It stores for 25 years without refrigeration. You can have a year's supply for your family under your bed, in your garage, in your closet, uh, anywhere in your house because it's very compact. All we do is take all of the water out. We dehydrate it and um, uh, ship directly to you. So you store it and uh, you prepare your family for the, these, the, 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 the global 
food crisis is, uh, that is going to come. That some of our bakery products. I'm going by pretty fast because I don't want to take up too much of your time. I respect your time, and I know that you don't want to spend too much time on this, and you want to get to the punchline. The punchline is, how do you get involved? And we're coming to that. When you get involved and you enroll other people, you get paid every week. And money goes into this uh, GoFoods MasterCard. I love it. I carry it in my wallet. I just came from Costco and I spent a, a lot of money just using my commissions from that card. So I don't use my credit cards anymore. I just use my income from the business. It's wonderful. So it helps you be a survivor. You'll outwit, you'll outplay, you'll outlast all of your neighbors. You'll be all prepared for no matter what happens, they won't. But you want to tell them about it and so that they're, they don't come knocking at your door when the time comes. And that's how you make money. So what, I'm gonna, what I want you to do is when you hit that survivor button over there on the right, it's in the right, uh, lower right column. <clears throat> when you hit the survivor button, it takes you to my website. Go to this, this, I took in, uh, this picture I took in August. So you don't see this one anymore, but you see uh, similar uh, promotions of what we have going. We always have some kind of a party special. So one way to introduce your friends and family is to have a little tasting party. And people love it. And, and they soon build your business. And they keep buying every month. And you make money. That's how you become a survivor. So hit that sign up button up in the upper right there. I have that arrow pointing. And it'll take you to the order form, enrollment form. I missed, I actually missed uh, one of the, one of the uh, before it gets here, it says sign up one more time. So hit the sign up one more time. And then it takes you here. And I know you, you know how to fill out a sign up form, your name, your email. Um, it tells you who your enroller is. That would be me in this case. But sometimes you're going to see this from one of my other downlines because I give you this whole system once you enroll and I teach you how to enroll other people. It's really easy. No selling required. You just make videos like this and a few other tricks that we teach you on the social media, how to get a lot of people involved uh, very easily. You don't have to call your friends and family. You don't have to spam anybody. Uh, you don't have to do it's very very simple to find people who have a like mind and want to prepare their families we'll teach you all, all about how to do that it's all very easy push a few buttons here and there on the internet and you're making money uh, so the rest of the form you scroll down and you enter, I know you know how to enter your username and password you've done this a million times on the on the internet but that lower box there the personal website that's where you name your website so mine as you saw down there was founder.gofoodsglobal and so you're going to make your own. I just typed in my website as an example. So then your website would be my website dot mygofoods.com or gofoodsglobal.com. And then the name, so the name of it is your name. So that's what they see when they land there or your business. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, but I like to explain the sign up process so you get through it a little easier and you don't have to call me. So that's a little close up again of that uh, website naming uh, field there make it's, it'll tell you if it's available or not sometimes they are sometimes they're not so you just keep coming up with clever names and uh, then hit the continue button and uh, now you have three ways to come in uh, four but there's really three that's going to get you really started in the business you have a hundred dollar starter pack of food a two hundred dollar starter pack of food or a five hundred dollar starter pack of food and uh, depending you want to come in at the five hundred dollar level and i'll tell you why you get higher you faster uh, startup uh, enrollment bonuses when you enroll other people. It, it, it's more money and it goes down more levels. So you want to come in at the $500 starter pack if you can afford it. If you can't today, just come in at the $100 level, dollar level or the $200 level if you can afford that. You're coming in at each time at a more levels of uh, commission. But and you can always upgrade to the 500. So if you can't squeeze that kind of money out of your bank account right now and I understand that these are tough times this is why you need to join us because money's going to be tougher and tougher to find you need to start generating money from food because everybody has to eat that remember that that's why I joined everyone has to eat and they are buying from me every month I'm going to teach you how they will buy from you instead of the local grocery store they get healthier they get prepared for the for the economic collapse that we're, we're coming to very very shortly very very quickly and you make money at the same time because food is the new currency so uh, coming to the $500 level if you can it's about two months supply of food you'll see what the starter packs are, in, are involved there's uh, at the 500 level you get a, a little of everything that we have and that's why I uh, recommend you do that if you can because you then you're able to sample everything the the soups the entrees 
um, you got two or three of everything, and, and uh, it's about a two or two, one, one or two month supply, depending on how the size of your family. And remember, eventually you got to have a year or two. And if if uh, if I'm right, uh, you're going to need five or ten years supply of food in your closet, in your garage, you know, everywhere you can store it, um, because it could take that long. Imagine how long it's going to take to unravel the mess that that they've put us in over 50 years. I mean, since World War II, this has been going on. Nixon was the uh, starter. He, he made the uh, dollar. He took the dollar off of the gold standard and made it the, the global uh, reserve currency. And that's, that's what kicked it off. That's when they, they learned that they had an unlimited credit card. So ever since then, since Nixon, they've just been uh, spending money, having crazy wars that cost us billion, hundreds of billions of dollars and get us absolutely nowhere. Just get a lot of people killed for no reason. And uh, so this, they're actually spending money as fast as they can. It's, I, I said this a long time ago, and I'm more convinced than ever. They, they're looting the Treasury. We have people in power who are like terrorists. They're worse than terrorists because they give fancy speeches, so they're deceitful. Whereas a terrorist would come right in your face and say, yeah, ha, ha, I'm a terrorist. I'm going to kill you. No, no, no. Our government people, they lie to you and they give fancy speeches every four years and they, they get you uh, lulled in a sense of security. So that's how they can st keep stealing from us year after year after year and putting us in more and more debt. On that debt clock, I'm going to go back to that right now. Um, one of the scariest things, you've got to see this down here, The one of these fields, where is it? Hey, right here, debt per citizen is now... $50,888 per person, per taxpayer. You know, that's your kids involved there, too. But the debt per taxpayer, you and your wife, it's worse. It's $139,000 per you and your wife. So for the fam for you and your wife as a couple, that's about two hundred and eighty, right? Uh, $280,000. Just, just that is your share of the debt. Now, are you ever going to be able to pay that off? Of course not. You have your own debt, uh, your, your student loans, uh, your uh, uh, your credit card debt, your mortgage. That's enough. That, that's those are at high highest levels in history too, and that's down here also. Um, shows you. Well, these are, this is a wonderful, wonderful tool to really learn economics. This is all you need. You don't need a PhD at some fancy school. You just go here and you can see all of the economic trends. In, and of course, they're all increasing. So, but it's the rate of things that are increasing, like the money supply here, 10 trillion going up again in the millions of dollars every hour. Um, uh, so you got to do if you want. I don't recommend it because it's tremendously taxing. Um, because this is the only thing you need to worry about is the 16 trillion that is going to go to 17 and then 30 and then 50 and then and then everybody's going to take a haircut and uh, we're going to have to reboot this whole economy. God knows what that's going to be like. You, 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 we have, no one has any idea of what that's going to be like. So back to the sign up form when you hit that button on the right it takes you there. I walked you through it and uh, so when you hit hit the 100, 200 or or $500 starter pack. The $100 starter pack is, is about uh, a week's worth of food. The $200 starter pack is about two weeks of worth of food. And the $500 starter pack is a month or two, like I say, depending on the size of your family. And uh, I said that twice, didn't need to do that. So then you scroll down after you select one of your, um, your ways of entering the business. And by the way, the, the, the only cost we have of entering the business is to buy a bunch of food. And then you're in the food business. A lot of companies like ours require all kinds of fees left and right. Uh, the only other one I have to, I do have to tell you about is a $30 a year fee for the website, like I'm showing you here. But it's well worth it because it makes you a ton of money. It's only $29.95 a year. Plus, and included in that is that debit card, which is how they ship your money to you every Friday right on time. Uh, wonderful company. They've never missed a pay period that I've since I've been involved. And I've been involved since the beginning. They've never been off by a penny. Uh, I love these guys. So any of your credit card in here, hit the continue button, and you're done. You're basically done. So it'll uh, just confirm your order, and uh, the food will ship uh, a, a day or two about the next day. You get it about a week later. And in the meantime, you can you can mess around in my website there and learn about the compensation, the money that you're going to make. It's unbelievable money. It just grows and grows and grows every every week in your debit card. 
uh, as you get more people involved. There's so many different ways. Oh, there's even check out the uh, the global bonuses, bonus pools. As you grow your volume, you get include you get shares in the po bonus pools, which means you're also on top of everything else that they pay you on. You're also participating in the profitability of the company. So the gross some a portion of it's about ten totals about 10 11 percent of the total company's income goes into a pool of which all our all the business owners share depending on how many uh, shares you get that depends on how much volume you have so there are all kinds of incentives to keep on growing your business and that's what keeps yours growing even when you take a rest I went to Maui recently and uh, did, did my income stop no it just kept on going while I was enjoying myself this summer in Maui so I, I, I love the concept I work it whenever I want to. I don't have to commute to an office. Uh, I don't have to put on a tie. I don't have to kiss anyone's butt. Uh, I'm my own boss. I uh, do what I want. I go where I want, say what I want. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful way to uh, support your family and have fun at the same time. We all have a lot of fun. We all communicate with each other. My top people and I, are call, we call each other all the time and give each other new ideas that we're learning. It's, it's so much fun. Um, I've learned so much about the internet and we, we will teach that to you. We have a system that I went over uh, quickly a few minutes ago that will get you um, a lot, you know, your business to grow. I promise if you follow our, our guidelines, we've been, we've been working on this for years and uh, we know how to get people from, uh, from all over the world, really. And uh, we'll teach you how to do it in the social networks. This is one way that you're seeing on YouTube, and uh, we have some related ways that we get you found with video. You can see how many people have viewed this. Uh, some of these things go viral, and uh, that's, you know, you just need uh, a little uh, success with this kind of thing, and away you go without too much effort at all. People call you, you don't call them. So I'm going to wind it up now because I, I never like to take more than 30 minutes in my videos or my webinars. And we're approaching that now. I'm going to uh, let it run a little little while longer so that you can uh, make sure that you get to the website and get signed up. And I uh, hope you do it because the, there's nothing less at stake than the survival of your family. So press that button. Go to that website. If it's a webinar, you're pressing a button. If you're just watching the video, you're, you're going to have to type in that website that you see. And uh, away you go. Take care now. God bless.